All right. Did the Albany with two losses. Now we're going to do the Tier 5 Premium Omaha class cruiser, the Marblehead. She has a slightly different and distinctive bow or bridge assembly. We're running, let's see, my Fletcher Captain again because he kind of transfers okay. We're running premium consumables, repair party, hydroacoustic, and fighter plane. <coughs> running the Halloween 2016 camo for EXP to just try and grind out a crate. And for signals, I'll run the economic. So for experience and for ship repair costs. And I'm not going to put anything else on this past that. So here we go. As I recall, the Marblehead got a boost to its gun range. Uh, since its gun range got pushed out to its maximum detectability with the whole German destroyer gun bloom debacle. All right, tier four and five uh, carriers. So they won't have manual drop. Bogan a Hoshu, eh, pretty evenly matched. It's been a while since I've played this, and hopefully I, I'll refrain from playing it like a destroyer and rushing in. I think this is more of a standoff. Something. Have to go back and play the Albany again. Messes with my win rate, but uh, you know, there's something about it. It's a good, nimble little boat. Now, if you're in the right place, I think it'd probably be better if you were divisioned with people. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna take up a position behind this island here and support our V170. over to HE. I think our V-170's running off. Okay, here we go. Get my AAA on them. Pop fighter. Park. Detected by their aircraft. Battleship behind me, maybe the cruiser. All right, took out a good chunk of their torpedo squadron. Hopefully, we can do that again. Looks like our other support cruiser is going to eat some torpedoes. Pop and Hydra in case there's DDs hiding over here. I need to get something in range. I'm going to push for this island. Try and not get hit by uh, what's shooting at him. Meal's turning off. Phoenix. Over to AP. 
over that hill. out that heel unless he's already used it. Get a third. Still burning, going for the Emile Berton. Down. All right, 
right, we're moving up to support our destroyer in mid, which is not really a good place to be. Ooh, another battleship has shown up. Let's see, nobody I can hit though. Oh, Kaiser. Kaiser's too far off. Get my AAA on those bombers. Omaha. Emil Bertan. Interesting battle so far. All right, some detected me, and there's all right. I'm not sure. Clearing the barrels. Omaha blind. Two overpens will take it. We took out the Breton. All right, that was very, very nice. Very chaotic, but uh, quite a battle. All right, come on, Omaha. Let's see if I can get him. Nope. All right, it's just the CV. that's probably one of the finer runs on a Omaha class aside from the Murmansk that I've had in a while try and get set up to chip away at those bombers or torpedo bombers as they come in down that catapult fighter, maybe, and go for these torpedo bombers. Iron Duke just took a pretty heavy hit. And there's their CV, just outside my gun range, but maybe, maybe, we can get some plunging fire on them. Let's 
see if he's running. Shell hits, seven fires. Shot down a plane, yippee. Top of the team on the leaderboard again. Let's see, got <laughs> damage on one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> seven, seven ships. Not bad. Credits and XP are not too bad. I'll take it. All right, back to port, and we will end that recording session.